my experience in Fortnite. It's a battle royal game with a cartoonish look to it. There is in-game currency, but like with most, it not worth much you can buy shields and health at vending machines. Or you just pick it up off the ground or the dead. I've seen people hire a NPC, but they're not that difficult to deal with. Plus, if you kill the player, they die and explode. But what makes this game different from most is the amount of game modes beyond Battle Royal, like Racing, Rumble, Lego, plus much more. Some look like an entirely different game. If you click on the game mode, it will give a brief description of what it is. Both Battle Royal modes have quests for you to complete most, are the typical slide kill player, shotgun damage, exploration. However, there are some unique quests involving NPCs. There are NPCs in the game, some give you things, others try to kill you, and yes, this is while the match is going, and can turn some areas of the map into shooting galleries, making it hard to tell who the players are. There is also a variety of weird guns and grenades. Some kill others, not so much. There are also random little events in game that just appear. I've spent most of my time playing the Royal Modes build and zero build. In both, the objective is to be the last one standing. People try different strategies to win, most don't work. The two best strategies are to hide until the end and hope to catch the last guy off guard or low health. And the other way, the strategy I use which makes it the best, is to walk, run, and drive around the map, aimlessly killing everything you come across. Now, there are some people who like building. There are two types to look for in my experience. The box people and the stair people. Let's start with the box people. They're the easiest, some are faster than others, but don't be discouraged. What you need is explosives. Now it sounds easy because it is. Throw explosives at wall takeover, off to the side behind a tree, or whatever they while expect you to be right in the front area some start. Shooting as soon as the wall goes down. Don't panic, they do not know where you are yet, so you can shoot them pretty easy. Bigger the box, the better they get deep in there, so you can blow them up easier. Unfortunately, there is only one firebomb and it's fireflies. I think they limit the explosives and firebombs because it clashes with their whole build thing. Now for the stair people, they're actually much harder. In my experience, the trick is to destroy the first stairs quickly to collapse it, throwing them off for a moment. Keep in mind, stair people aim better, so be on point. The easiest way to deal with them is from a far sniper rifles the best because their build higher before thinking of building walls. Fire and explosive work, but they're not pinned in, so most just dodge. Zero build is what you think it is. Battle Royal with no building, if you're a good shot, you'll do well here. No offense, but the vast majority of people I've met on this game can't aim even if you stand right in front of them. So if you're good, not great, but good at games like Rainbow and Battlefield where you die fairly easy and your aim need to be fast and accurate, you are probably going to dominate here. And if you get irritated with build switch to zero build, I would recommend trying this game due to the variety of game modes beyond your basic royal. It is a lot more fun than I thought it would be, and it might surprise you too. Like, comment, and subscribe.